What's up guys, it's Teddy. How are you guys enjoying your week in Black Desert Online? So I mentioned AFK fishing in my fishing guide and how you can make some money. AFK fishing can be done anywhere there is water. Simply walk up to it and... Today I'm going to be showing you some places where you can AFK fish and make a lot of silver. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when another Black Desert Online video comes out. With all of that out of the way, let's get into this small mini guide on AFK fishing. You can start AFK fishing at any level as long as you have any fishing pole and water. Almost every pool of water can be fished in, but there are some places you can fish at which can net you more fish or rare drops than others. Before you can do this, however, you'll need to get set up. You're going to need a fishing rod, but not just any fishing rod though. You're going to need the Balanos fishing rod. If you can't afford one, fear not, you can still AFK fish with any other rod, but the Balanos rod decreases the auto fishing by 10% stock and negative 25% at max. Rejoice, this rod can be repaired. The next thing you're gonna need is a lure. Lures can be used at Professional 1 for the Ash Tree Lure and Artisan 1 for the Maple Tree Lure. The Ash Tree Lure allows more blue grade fish to be caught and the Maple Lure allows more yellow grade fish than others. Enhancing them increases the chances you'll get blue or yellow grade fish. Getting some fishing clothes will decrease the fish time. You can get one to start with when you complete the starter fishing quest and another one when you hit professional one or at the luxury vendor. Silver embroidered fisher clothes on the central marketplace or can be crafted at any costume workshop. These will increase the fishing level and fishing experience with each enhancement. For those of you who are here wondering about fishing mastery, depending on the spot, you can now get red grade fish which are worth more but the downside is they can't be sold to imperial fishing delivery and we get an increased drop rate of relics. Comment down below if you mainly sell to the imperial NPC or if you trade further away at the trade manager. Wearing any of the new life skill fishing clothes will increase fishing mastery and fishing ability, but Manos is the best option to use. Using all those fish bones or tattered boots, you can exchange five each for a Creos fishing chair, which will increase fishing mastery by 100, but cannot be repaired. Eating a seafood crons meal will reduce the fishing time and give 10% more life experience which can be bought off the central marketplace or cooked at any house using cooking tools. This is the best option since it lasts 120 minutes. You can buy a marmot for real money in the cash shop or pre-order one in the central market but you will have to wait for someone to sell you one. It doesn't cost real money. You can fish almost anywhere, but there are some spots that make AFK fishing worthwhile. Heading down to Comiselvia boasts some slight bonuses to fishing. Unlike other regions that have single water freshwater fish table, Comiselvia has multiple fish table zones, eight in total. That's more than Magoria. Genuinely, each fish table has one high value rare species, two yellow species, and a larger portion of higher value yellow slash blue quality fish. Two new rare high value low drop rare freshwater species, the Golden Cineparca, I hope I pronounced that right, and Grangey's Door. Two unique low drop chance items via fishing, bottle with a note, and giant fish bones. If you guys want me to make a little mini guide on the bottle with a note, please do drop down, comment, and I'll get right on that. Slightly faster fishing speed than other freshwater regions with an average of around 32 to 34 seconds per cast. Relic drop chance appears slightly higher in Kama Silvia Part 1 fish tables than other areas. Higher drop rates of the breezy conch seaweed item still low, but higher than other areas. Fishing out in Magoria will increase the speed, fish bite, and has some great prize fish you could earn, but the downside is it takes so long to get back to the mainland and the value of fish will decrease the longer they sit in your bag. With the new introduction of the new zone Odolita, there is a good spot to AFK fish at the Starry Midnight Port. There's a new prize fish here that can net you 10 mil. The downside is there is a lower distance value to Valencia, but 150% to Port Rat if sailing is your thing. One more downside is to trade fishing, you would need to head to Old Wisdom Tree or the Imperial Fish Trader in Odraxia City. 
Now, there are other places that are great for AFK fishing and aren't really known or fished at a lot. Finding them is easy, and as long as you have a safe zone and an abundance, you can make some good money being away from the game. This guide should get you started with AFK fishing as simple as it is, but also give you a little boost when starting. If this helped you, don't forget to smash that like button. I hope you have an easy time AFK fishing, and if you excuse me, I am going to try to get that 10 mil fish. As always, I shall see you guys in another Black Desert Online video.